Oops. I totally meant to do that, folks. Let me just revive real quick. That was embarrassing. Take a deep breath. Can you tell us what you saw? I saw a black shadow. It ran right past me. How could... How could something like that happen in broad daylight? How could something like that happen in broad daylight? This is terrifying. Uh. Oops. Was fell in the water there. Don't come any closer. Wait. Wait, that was a woman. all right. I can detect a faint whiff of the scent from here. I would say he passed by this location not too long ago. Hmm. It's this way. Please, follow me. I heard somebody screaming. This cave? The scent is getting stronger. This must be the place. Well, since I know that we're going to be having a certain somebody with us, she's going to be our Daidrio. Chasing after that figure, and then all of a sudden, I didn't feel so hot. Let me take a look. The air definitely feels heavy. It smells nice, but for some reason, it's hard to breathe. <laughs> this feeling, I've encountered it before. Everything looks all right. It was probably just the stress of the chase combined with the impact of the environment. A bit of rest would do you some good. I can't rest. Mr. Edgar is still in there. He taught my sister how to make perfume. He's a good man. I can't just abandon him to die by curious hand. Oz, you need to calm down and listen to me. Edgar is the one we're after. He and Kyria are the same person. But how is that possible? I thought you said Kyria was in his 30s. Mr. Edgar is 70-something. Changing your appearance to look decades older... That doesn't seem possible. Unless you use the delusion... That's precisely why he had to resort to extraordinary measures to age himself. A delusion. Kyria used a delusion to bring back the Auguste flower, corroding his body in the process. Just like his older sister. No. He couldn't have. Mr. Edgar has been in Port Ormos for years. If someone started impersonating him all of a sudden, we would have noticed. 
And what if the impersonation started before he ever set foot in Sumeru? I... Uh... I've yet to confirm it, but I suspect Kyria killed the real Edgar and Fontaine not long after his release from prison. While Edgar was incarcerated, Kyria started making preparations to replace him, including forcefully aging his body, studying perfumery, and planning the real Edgar's demise. The new Edgar then decided to relocate to Sumeru, seemingly out of an innocuous desire to let go of the past. He even left perfume making in favor of mentoring students, but these decisions were all for a specific purpose, the need to distance himself from anyone who might see through the facade. And Sumeru fit the bill to a T, with no one around to question his identity. All he had to do was grow a beard, don a pair of glasses, make a few minor alterations to his appearance, and everyone would believe he was exactly who he claimed, Edgar, a perfumer from Fontaine. As the years went by, he removed his disguise little by little and continued to refine his skills. It would have been a gradual process, one that ensured no one around him would notice anything unusual. That explains why Sylvain said he barely recognized Edgar back at the hotel! He aged himself decades beyond his years just so he could accomplish his revenge! Is that even worth it? I... I need to find Mr. Edgar. He's not that kind of person. He can't be. <coughs> what you really need is to get out of here and rest. No, I... I can keep going. So in other words, Wait, we were all this played environment like a is fiddle. likely being influenced by the delusion. Any discomfort, no matter how slight, should not be treated lightly. I know how to relieve your symptoms, Mr. Ooze. Please come with me and rest. I'm sure Kyria... No, Edgar, wouldn't want any more innocent people implicated in all this. Kale's right. The Traveler and I will take things from here. From our brief exposure to a goose, it would seem the substance has little effect on us. This leads me to believe those blessed with a vision or capable of wielding elemental power are more resistant to the effects of abnormal elemental energy. In other words, this environment doesn't pose as much of a risk to us. Actually, now that I think about it, this stronghold likely has multiple points of entry. If the target were to escape from a different point of entry, that might allow him to evade capture. I hate to trouble you, but we need people to survey the perimeter. I... <sighs> Thanks. Hear that? We're heading out. There's work to be done. Oh, Ooze, head back to Port Ormos and start gathering reinforcements. <sighs> Got it. Traveler, Emily, Paimon, please be careful. Of course. For someone whose only purpose in life is revenge, there's no telling what they'll do when there's no reason to move forward. Don't worry. This isn't the end. Not for us. Or for Kyria. We're not going to let a goose kill anyone else. It's time for the mythos to fade into obscurity. level of elemental energy.
I've never seen these seeds before. They must also have been created with the power of a delusion. Hmm. It seems to be avoiding us, and there's no other way forward. Perhaps we could try luring it to the edge of the cliff. There we go. is true then you know Paimon using a delusion comes at a cost not just time but the time you have left to live but why would Kyria need this many a goose flowers he only needed a few bottles of a goose to carry out his plan right perhaps hatred wasn't the only emotion fueling his obsession with a goose what do you mean not long ago he told me he didn't want all the flowers transported to Samaru to wither away in a foreign land. But Kyria betrayed Snezhnaya, abandoned Fontaine, and lived his entire life in Sumeru under the guise of someone else. For someone with nowhere to call home, perhaps dying among a bed of a goose flowers just like his sister is the best homecoming he could ask for. I mean, that does make sense. More monsters. <gasps> A little ambiance. Extract. I must be more prudent. Here we go again with this.
plant that destroys seeds. Huh, quite the ecological marvel. Let's head back to the place where the seeds first appeared. Pleh. No, no, no. Budge. Here we go again. we go. <gasps> the scent of flowers is getting stronger. We're almost at the end. He just drank it. Uh. This is a garden of a goose flowers, but it's not mine. It's the one that was set on fire all those years ago in Fontaine. Y Elena? Y Elena! You tried to hide it from me, but I... I always understood. The reason why you continued to use the delusion. The reason why you set your garden on fire. It was all because of me. I shouldn't have listened to you that day. I shouldn't have taken the mora and ran. But by the time I realized something wasn't right, there was nothing left. The flowers were gone. And so were you. I know I'm almost 20 years too late. I should have come looking for you earlier. I should have... I should have died with you that day! Yelena? Uh. Yelena! I think she's pissed at you. No! Don't leave me! Please! Yelena! <clears throat> I honestly think she's pissed at you. She didn't want you to, to do all <sighs> what you did. Emily! I... I'm alive. No, that's not possible. I saw her. Yelena. We were together. That was an illusion, likely brought about by the residual toxin in your body coupled with the pollen in the air, neither of which are fatal. No. The amount of August I drank, it should have been enough. I'm sorry to say this, but... That was a fake. 
I mean, do you think we would really allow you to have the real deal? A fake? But... how? We started making the preparations last night with one goal in mind. To create a perfect accord. The Accord is the basis of perfume making, the product in its most primitive form. Ambergris mixed with cedar wood, rounded out with a base note of agar wood. This is... the scent of leather? Exactly. We're unable to extract essential oils from leather, but by combining other raw materials, we can recreate its essence. That is the purpose of an Accord. Does that mean you can recreate any scent in the whole world? <laughs> I'm afraid not. Certain fragrances in this world are simply one of a kind. Hmm. That quality is what draws people in and fuels their obsessions. If I wear a goose to the ball, I'll also be one of a kind. Oh. oh my god. This fragrance will be one of a kind no more. Myths can be deconstructed. Miracles can be recreated. All it takes is skill, experience, limitless exploration, and a little patience. The only thing left is determining where the real Auguste is hidden. Pretending to be attacked means he's not free to move around. A goose must be hidden within reach. Carmen took a peek through the window earlier and his house was packed with flowers. The curator commissioned a flower pot from Kasharawar, capable of retaining heat and moisture. Perfumes are as beautiful as flowers and equally as delicate. When stored, you must take care to control the temperature and keep them away from direct sunlight. Did you get all that, Emily? Mm -hmm. I got it. Hmm. And she had the bottle <laughs> from earlier. switched the bottles of Auguste, and then lied to me about Sylvain's death. Convincing you that your revenge had been completed was the easiest way to get you to let down your guard. Impossible. Even if you found a way to switch out the bottles, there's no way you could have made an accord. If Auguste was so easy to replicate, Yelena wouldn't have. It was a combination of rainbow roses, glaze lilies, and Cecilia's. Those ingredients would have conflicted with each other if you tried to combine them in the past. But recently, we found a way for them to work together. Hmm. Rainbow roses, glaze lilies, and Cecilia's. Auguste was created over ten years ago. All this time, people never stopped analyzing it, never stopped trying to recreate it. Perfumery techniques are advancing day by day. We've found better ways to extract essential oils, separate oils and fats. We even discovered new ways to combine fragrances together. The mythos surrounding a goose may have been untouchable almost 20 years ago, but now it's time for it to become a thing of the past. The past? You've been working as a perfumer for all these years. You should have always known that it is possible to make an accord, even if only in theory. But the meaning you assigned to a goose became so inflated, you allowed yourself to get lost in it, just like the perfume mania that captivated the public all those years ago. You believed in its divinity and grandeur. You believed it was entirely one of a kind. 
And in the process, you forgot that it's a bottle of perfume. Nothing more. Your obsession with the goose is also what allowed us to predict how you intended your plan to end and to make preparations in advance. We just didn't expect it to happen so fast. Or that you would activate the delusion. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you hit the nail on the head now, didn't you? So, Sylvain isn't dead. Since you've been preparing your accord since last night, I assume you've also figured out my method then. Mm -hmm. That means the news of Sylvain's death. The crowd gathered outside the hotel this morning. It was all an act you put on with the sheriff. Yes. If we hadn't, you might have resorted to the delusion out of desperation, or continued to use your spirit Borneal and a goose combination to wreak havoc. Who knows? Maybe I would have just offed myself then and there. I know if you had things your way, you would carry the truth of Edgar's demise and the secrets of this garden to the grave, but I'm sorry, Master. I don't want to see any more death. Sylvain only inhaled a small amount of poison. He's being detained as we speak. All the crimes he concealed back then will be exposed in a court of law for everyone to see. And all his secrets will be revealed. The same goes for you as well. Is that so? Well, I suppose I'll be spending the rest of my days in a prison cell then. Whoa, he accepted that kind of fast. Hmm. I don't feel the need to justify my actions, nor do I intend to repent for them. I did what I set out to do. I may have lost in the end, but it was my choice every step of the way. And if I could do it all over again... <laughs> but there's no going back, is there? Die. Looks like I'm almost out of time. Although, I do have one final question, Emily. Of course, Master. The combination you used to make your accord. How did you figure it out? The scent of a goose is complex and varied, yet the main ingredient consists of a single variety of flour. So, as I was analyzing the sample yesterday, I got to thinking, what if the scent of the goose flower was already imbued with that complexity during its cultivation? You're saying, Yelena designed Auguste to have the scent of multiple flowers? Rainbow roses, glaze lilies, Cecilia's, the perfumers of the past knew that if you combine their essential oils directly, they would just cancel each other out. It was a conundrum they could never solve. But if you cultivate a new flower species that intrinsically carries the unique features of those three scents, you can bypass that issue entirely. It goes without saying that for that time, this idea was a stroke of genius. Rainbow roses, glaze lilies, and Cecilia's. <laughs> Those really do seem like flowers you would choose, Yelena. Not long after that, the Aramites rush over. Kyria accepts his fate without saying a word. And thus, all the turmoil caused by a goose finally comes to an end. A w few weeks later, you receive a letter from Emily inviting you to catch up in Fontaine.
Did you know? Miss Emily's releasing a new perfume! <laughs> right! I heard about that! I think it's called Yelena! Oh, she's named... Oh, that's a nice homerage. Seems like everyone in Fontaine is talking about the new perfume you're releasing. I was hoping to release it without such a fuss, but the news spread way faster than I expected. I just hope it won't become the source of some new myth, especially after all the work we did to demystify a ghost. About this perfume, did you use the Accord back f uh, from back in Samaru? I did, although I made a few modifications to the formula to make the scent more pleasant and long-lasting. I actually brought a few samples with me today. I hope they're to your liking. Also, I was hoping you could try out the fragrance before I officially release it and tell me your thoughts. Of course! A good sense of taste and sense of smell go hand in hand, you know? Just leave it to Paimon! <laughs> Oh, it smells great! I'm not sure that's the kind of feedback she had in mind. <laughs> it's alright. All feedback is worth considering. Besides, when it comes to perfume, commenting on whether it smells good is the most straightforward assessment you can ask for. There doesn't always have to be a deeper meaning. Speaking of deeper meanings, Karia's final question. Right! Do those flowers have some special meaning? Hearing their names seemed to have an effect on him. Hmm, if I had to guess... I'd say it probably has something to do with the language of flowers. The language of flowers? Oh, we've heard of that before! Paimon remembers hearing something like, uh... The Cecilia represents the true feelings of the prodigal son? What each flower is said to represent varies by person and across different moments in history. The same is true for the flowers that make up the scent of a goose. After returning to Fontaine, I did some research, and it turns out the meanings of those three flowers can be reassembled to form a single phrase. <clears throat> Forget the past and keep on living. Perhaps that's the legacy Yelena always intended, not the nobility and grandeur most people associate with the Goost. Or maybe that's what she hoped for for her brother. Do you think Kyria knew about that? I paid him a visit before his trial and explained what I found, but he didn't seem to care. Who knows? Maybe she didn't mean anything by it at all. That was his response. Yelena is gone. We'll never know what she was thinking. We can look for meaning all we want, but it'll never be anything but conjecture. Even if that is what she was trying to say, I would never be able to forget her. Avenging her death? That was the meaning I chose for my life. Kyria cultivated his revenge like a flower. He was committed to making it bloom, even if, in the end, it didn't bear the fruit he was hoping for. Kyria... In any case, he did want me to pass along his thanks. Thank you for saving my life. For giving me the chance to learn that a goose could have carried a very different meaning. Hmm... Love and hatred are a privilege of the living. When someone dies, their thoughts, feelings, and intentions die with them. In that sense, what a goose truly represents in the language of flowers will forever remain a mystery. But even if it's only a conjecture, I would like to believe my own interpretation. The meaning we give to flowers, the symbolism we assign to our perfumes, they're constantly twisted and exploited in our imperfect world. And yet, at the very outset, they're born from the simplest and most beautiful desires we hold in our heart. Wow. And now we have a bottle of that perfume. Art is the key ingredient in fine dining. Let's take a look at it. 
Oh, wait a minute. It's a... A sample of the perfume Emily made herself. It was based off the legendary August Fragrance chronicled in Fontaine's histories. Tilt the bottle forward to the sunlight and see flowing line. Oh! That's actually really cool! And it, 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 it's a gadget! Nice! Well, I hope you all liked this. If you, uh, so please hit that like button and comment down below if there was a favorite part of this that you liked. And if you're new to the channel, please just subscribe and ring the ding ding notification bell so you won't miss another video from me. And this has been Melody of Valentine's saying, May the light in your heart shine forever. Farewell for now, my friends, until the next time. Bye bye.